QuickBooks, how to categorize credit card payments. Hey everyone, this is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Real quick, down in the comments, I put a pinned comment down there. Very first comment uh, on this video, check out the masterclass at QuickBooks University. There's a link in that comment. Uh, that's where I show you the four steps that you need to take to learn QuickBooks easily. So check that out and uh, let's get started on this video. So. How to categorize credit card payments. I get this question a lot and, and quite honestly, it's because most people treat credit cards incorrectly in QuickBooks. So here's a situation, you get your credit card bill, you gotta make a payment. How do you do that? Okay, well, you can do a couple things. You can go to banking, you can go to write checks and you can fill out the check for, you know, Chase Bank, whatever it is, and put in your payment amount, 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks, or the full balance, whatever it is, you know, pay it and be done. And that's definitely one way to do it. Now, the problem with that is you will not be recording all of the credit card expenses, okay? So when you do go in and make a payment, there is a certain sequence in QuickBooks you wanna follow to categorize credit card payments. So what you wanna do is first go to banking and enter credit card charges. So you get your credit card statement and you have all these charges. I recommend people use bank feeds because it's gonna import all of those transactions and you can add them to the credit card register and share those expenses. Then after you have entered the charges for the month, what you want to do is you want to go to reconcile the credit card. And at that point, what QuickBooks will ask you is, do you want to enter a bill for payment later or do you want to pay it now? And that's when you're going to make the payment. Now, the reason you want to go through that process is because one, it gets all your credit card expenses in there and in the right time period. Two, it reconciles your credit card so that you make sure you didn't miss any charges, you didn't miss any payments, anything like that. And it keeps your balance in your books the same as what the credit card company is. Just like reconciling a checking account, except you are reconciling a credit card. So now, in the middle of the month, this is a question I get. So that is the sequence, let me go back. That is the sequence, you enter the credit card charges, uh, you reconcile the credit card, you enter a bill, and then you pay the bill. Now, during the month, some people make payments on their credit card. So let's say it's the middle of the month, you know, you don't have your statement, and you go in and you make a credit card payment. You say, you know what, I'm charging a lot this month, I'm gonna send in a thousand bucks. So what you're gonna do, and most likely you're going online, you're probably using your phone or something like that, and you're making a payment. So you make a payment to the credit card from your business checking account. So when you go into QuickBooks, the easiest way to record that is to go to banking and write checks. And we're gonna make it out to, let's say it's Chase Bank. I'm gonna do a quick add vendor and we're gonna send a thousand bucks. We make this payment in the middle of the month. Now, I always put EFT to, sign to signify to myself that this was uh, a debit card or electronic payment or something like that. I didn't physically write a check. It is a electron an electronic payment. Date 12-15-2023, and then you get down here and you're like, okay, how, what do I put this to? Every single time, you do not put this to an expense. What you're gonna do is you're going to put it to your credit card liability account. All right, so let's see, there is, we'll say a credit card, let's just assume it's QuickBooks credit card. You're gonna put it to that liability that you have set up as an account in your chart of accounts, all right? So now what this does is it reduces the credit card balance in your financial statements of what you owe. And at the end of the month, when you go to reconcile your credit card, this payment will show up so you can check it off and it allows you to reconcile your account. So that's what you wanna do, is when you categorize a credit card payment, like a random credit card payment during the month, put it to the credit card liability account. Simple as that. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below, and I will see you in the next video.